Um, hi, uh, I know what you're thinking. Um, five minutes about potatoes, right? It's got to be dull. Well, I don't want to the city that I grew up in. We like the past, so you got to weigh in. It's still top of three stars. Uh, I started searching on Flickr for pictures of potatoes, and it actually pretended that there were no results. Not one. Um, the next day I tried again, actually, and thankfully um, it was full, but what the hell? Um, so anyway, I started searching. Curiosity got to me, and I actually ran some Google searches. Um, and I found that in the Daily Mail, you had about 57,000 mentions. On the Telegraph, 333,000 mentions for some reason. And on the Times, only 584. That's paywalled. Um, anyway, some facts. Um, the potatoes related to the tomato. Uh, the tomatoes related to the deadly night. Um, and in fact, all those cows actually contain significant quantities of a toxin called solanine. And that actually brought a question to mind. If potatoes are toxic, I needed to know how many potatoes can I eat, um, or would it take to kill me? or better still, Piers Morgan. And I actually found that, to my surprise, five kilos of potatoes um, is a fatal dose if you can eat it all in once. Or if you go crazy and eat all those green ones on the right, um, just a kilo could deliver a fatal dose. And if this scary freak here uses his $3,500 spud gun, the fatal dose, albeit not delivered as a chip, um, might be just one. Um, he sells these, um, so if you fancy a Rambo-esque potato-based action-adventure, go for it, spudtech.com. Of course, there's certain potatoes that are so dangerous, um, so scary, that we should all actually be very, very careful about them. Um, and get one of these in your life, you may never be the same again. Um, so, anyway, my original actual premise for the talk was this. What if the potato just got discovered recently? Um, what would happen in today's society and media? And one of the first problems would be that the EU novel foods regulations uh, would get in the way. Um, in particular, uh, toxicity testing. Something so toxic as potatoes um, would actually be quite unlikely to get any kind of approval. Um, however, it's not a novel food, so Tesco's are still allowed to sell it to you. So, yay. Um, but I imagine... Um, Potatoes actually yield more food calories per acre at about 17.8 million than corn, which is at 12.3 million, um, or, say, wheat at 6.4 million per acre, meaning that, politically, it's actually a very, very attractive food crop. Um, but, of course, anything that is important, commercial interests start to sniff around and they see what they can um, register or patent. Um, and, for example, GM, uh, genetically modified variants would be available with all sorts of superpowers, Patents for cooking would uh, come up. But of course, um, people get nervous, and uh, especially if the word GM is involved. And being a new food, GM techniques would actually be a shortcut to the high yields um, that are necessary compared to years of selective breeding. Of course, if something is popular and new, you might as well cash in. Um, so newspapers would create special offers, and there'd no doubt be a stream of spammy tweets in your feed. Um, offering a free potato if you retweet them. Um, but the media being how it is, headlines are actually much more important than consistency. Um, so good old fear. Um, lovely, comfortable fear. Um, it, but it would be nice if somebody could actually protect us from um, these dangers, though, wouldn't it? Uh, so unfortunately, though, Obama would try, but there's the commercial interests again. The powerful potato lobby would make schools force feed potatoes to kids or something. And, um, but I'm not too worried because wherever there's commerce, you'll always find an equal and opposing liberal. Um, uh, but quite quickly, you see, McDonald's would have seized on the cheap calories available in their McFried chopped potato range and they'd feed us huge amounts of potatoes. But he'd be there proving to us uh, and trying to save us from obesity. He might fail, though. Um, but one thing I did notice in all this was that in real life, the popular media, the websites they're not actually full of toxic potato headlines. And that teaches us something, that we're actually much more afraid of new dangers than we are of old, familiar ones, regardless of scale. So when we see scare stories online, or on Twitter, in Facebook, or down the pub, chances are they're just based on extrapolations rather than good science. 
Um, I couldn't actually find a contemporary story of potato poisoning anywhere. So keep calm, carry on. So there's the obligatory Twitter handle and the image credits. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Dave Cogman.